me. Put it back. Hello everyone. So today I'm going to do my foundation routine. I haven't filmed a foundation routine in a long, 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 in a long time. So I thought I would do one today. What? No. So this is going to be featuring my Makeup Forever Matte Velvet Foundation. I love this stuff. I swear by it and I think it's amazing. My skin is super oily no matter what I do, no matter how I set, what I set with, I get oily. This makes me not oily. So I love it. Anyway, let's just get started. I have nothing on my face right now. I did my eyebrows and I have a little concealer under, you know, to shape my eyebrows. But that's all I have on. Nothing else. I'm completely bare, naked, nude. So the first thing I'm going to use is this CoverGirl concealer. Just a regular concealer from CoverGirl from the drugstore. This is in number four, which I believe is their darkest shade, which is kind of sad because that's really light. But anyway, I'm going to use this with this fluffy brush for my under eye. So, let me get my mirror over here so I can see what I'm doing and not jack my face up. And I'm going to, it's a doe for applicator, so I'm going to dot, 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 just like that. Oh, I've already moisturized my face with just a random moisturizer. I don't use anything crazy because I'm oily and I'll break out. So I just use a regular moisturizer. So I'm just buffing that in with this fluffy brush. This is like a blending brush. So I'm just doing that and then I'm going to take my ring finger and just tap over top. Nothing fancy. Same thing over here. Just like that. My ring finger. And tap it in. See? Now I don't look so dead. A little bit more alive. So then, what I'm going to do is take this flat top powder brush everybody knows about this brush from elf just a flat top very dense brush I love it and so does everybody else if you don't know about this brush you've been sleeping under a rock and the rock has been under a boulder because everybody talks about this brush so what I'm gonna do I don't use a lot of foundation give me that see this is what my child plays with Clorox wipes I'm such a great parent I don't use a lot you don't need a whole lot for a lot of coverage now this is what I do I don't use primer I feel like I'm loud am I loud anyway I don't use primer only because I feel like I don't see a difference like I have the matte the matte matte cream um I used it for a while and then I stopped using it because I felt like it was just caking up underneath my makeup and it wasn't making a difference. So I've tried other primers. I've tried the Sephora primer. I've tried the, um, what is the one? Makeup Forever primer, I believe it was. I had a sample of both of those. I tried it. Same thing. So I just gave up on primers. I don't use them anymore. So what I do is I take my makeup forever matte velvet foundation looks like that but i'm in number 70 i know just because i know what i do with this because i'm oily but i don't want to look totally matte i know it's weird but when i use this by itself i look too matte and it's like it almost makes me look dry so what i do is i take this and this this is the mac luster drops and these are this one is in um Sun Rush. I got this from the CCO, so I don't know if they even still have this one anymore. But Luster Drops from MAC and Matte Velvet Foundation. So, what I do on the back of my hand, I take a teeny tiny dot of this, literally, like just like that. 
and I take a dot of this literally like the same amount and what I do is I mix those two together I'm just using the back of this brush it creates like a nicer finish so I use about that much and I take my powder brush and I tap it in very lightly and I go one two three four like on the bottom half right and then I start buffing that in buffing 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 right get down in my neck what are you doing Brooklyn is behind me causing a ruckus then I just take the rest and I go over my forehead and whatever's left I pick it up and just all over that little bit of product gives me pretty much all the coverage I need I don't know if you can tell on camera but my skin tone is a lot more even and a lot more awake so yeah that's what I do with that and then what I do hey brookies is I take my Mac Studio Fix with a powder brush, a fluffy powder brush, and I'm just going to use this one. This is from CVS, I believe. Very lightly. I just brush it one time in there. It's not even a lot of product on there, and I kind of just go over it. It gives a little tiny bit more coverage and it sets the, the foundation. Just like that. And that's it. It's pretty much all I do for my foundation routine. Now, this is my foundation routine if I'm going out, like if I have somewhere to go that day um if it's like a nighttime thing and i need to be like super really covered i use a little bit more foundation than what i just showed you but for the most part for you know on a regular basis if i'm going somewhere if i'm going you know going out for that day or whatever i use just that little bit of foundation and um sometimes like if I'm not going anywhere that's like important, if I'm just going to a regular, I don't know, whatever. If I'm like not doing anything important that day, I usually don't wear foundation. I might, I wear concealer under my eyes and I usually just dust my face with the um, Studio Fix powder just so I'm not looking crazy. So yeah, as for the rest of my face, I usually just do highlight. Uh, blush and bronzer I'm not gonna do that in this video because this was for foundation <laughs> but yeah so I just unclip my bangs that I clipped back fluff them up a little bit and that's pretty much it so that's my foundation routine hope you guys like it and enjoyed it and um, I'll see you in my next video bye